Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this review of the McGregor Mayweather fight. At the time of recording this, it's like six o'clock in the morning. The fight didn't start until like five in the morning here in the UK. I am shattered, but I've got all my notes and I've got so much to talk about. Um, I loved the fight. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I suppose out of everything that's the most important thing that it was entertaining um, a lot of people might watch the fight and just not be that impressed because it was very one-sided like I gave every round apart from the first round to Mayweather um, I think McGregor got his strategy slightly wrong um, I think he needed to come out and go all out like absolute war in the first rounds and try and end this early which is what he was saying he was going to do but he didn't seem to go far enough I don't know if that was because Floyd was such a good defensive fighter and was able to ride that out or if it was a case that you know his strategy was do a little bit see how it goes save a bit of energy but the thing was that you know by the time he was getting to like round five maybe even round four he was done. He was fatigued. There was nothing left in the tank, you know. And actually, at the end, Connor in the uh, interview after the match was saying, "Yeah, I was fatigued, but if I'm going to go down, let the man put me down. Let let Floyd put me down. I don't care, you know. Uh, let me give me an opportunity to still land that big shot, you know, land that moment." Um, so, uh, like Connor, I don't think is massively disappointed that the referee ended this. I mean, I should say, in case you don't know, Mayweather wins by TKO in round 10. But, uh, so I don't think Connor's massively disappointed, but uh, I think, from what he's saying anyway, he, uh, he would have preferred had the ref not stepped in so that he could uh, still try and land, you know, that, that killer blow. Um, and if the end result was that Floyd knocked him out and put him down, Connor's like, so be it. You know, that, that's how it would have gone. Um, but I, I just think that everyone wins out of this because Connor has gone 10 rounds with the best boxer of this generation. Maybe the generation before. I mean, he is 40, but, you know, for the past 20-odd years, no one has been on Floyd Mayweather's level. And uh, Connor's just gone 10 rounds with him and didn't get knocked out. I didn't think he would get knocked out. He could have. You know, I have to hold my hands up. He could have because he was fatigued and uh, maybe probably would have. And that would have been, you know, not because of Floyd's power that wouldn't have been as a result of Floyd that would have been as a result of Connor just completely maxing out of his energy um but yeah in the early rounds I kind of felt like he should have really gone for it a few shots to the back of the head from McGregor a few little changes of stance as well uh, a lot of like clinching where McGregor goes around the back you could tell this was quite unorthodox you could tell that this was an MMA fighter trying to box. Um, and it was, you know, it was, I think he did a good job. I think, you know, I I don't know what else you could really expect. I thought the only way McGregor was going to win was by finding that punch. And he didn't find it. So it ends up that it got into the 10th round. I think he probably would have got put down before it went to points because he was just so fatigued. Um, but uh, referee steps in and it's a TKO. Uh, I can't remember if I've told you who sung the national anthems. Uh, Imelda May did the Irish national anthem. Demi Lovato did the United States national anthem. I can't even say it. Um, Demi Lovato did the United States national anthem. Um, they were both cool. I didn't even know Imelda May was Irish. She might not be. I literally have no idea. Um, but yeah, she did the Irish national anthem. Both came out. Um, Floyd came out with a balaclava on, looked like he'd just robbed a bank. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you know, Connor staring down at Floyd before like the match starts. And uh, then, yeah, we're off, you know, and as I said, a lot of clinching, a lot of, you know, 
not not no action, but just cagey, quite cagey. But you could tell me Mayweather smiling all throughout. He knew he had this. I I, re I really don't know if he was ever troubled. Um, I think uh, there was. I don't know if it was Carl Frotch or um, Bellu that said on the UK commentary that they were really disappointed in McGregor. I wasn't. He was in there with one of the greatest of all time and he's just gone 10 rounds. Now, maybe that's because Mayweather's let him, but, uh, you know, he didn't get put down and it's gone 10 rounds. I think it's better for McGregor that he wasn't put down, like the referee steps in and now McGregor can, of course, turn around and say, why did the ref do that? Yes, I was tired. Yes, I was a bit wobbly, but, you know, I still could have found that 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 shot. Um I think McGregor's stock is still as high as ever. And actually, I think what this fight has done is raised uh, Floyd Mayweather's stock because he's done now. Uh, you know, he's proven that he can, you know, beat the boxers and uh, win in a, a circus fight. Um, it's, it's just fascinating. Honestly, absolutely fascinating. Uh, so moments that have got, there was a moment in the first round where McGregor put his hands behind his back kind of taunting uh, Floyd. Um, and uh, again, quite defensive from Mayweather. Uh, big left uppercut from McGregor. I gave that first round 10-9 McGregor. Um, and then uh, a lot of clinching, uh, moving behind, few body shots. This was a very even round, round two. I gave it Mayweather because it was in this round I could see what his strategy was. Um, and then in the third round, uh, head up request. Uh, from the ref to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he kept dropping his head down too low. Um, and then I've put here top slash back of the head strikes from McGregor. Uh, Mayweather smiling. Mayweather didn't care. Mayweather knew he had this by round three. Uh, round uh, four, McGregor was the aggressor. Mayweather on the ropes at one moment, um, but rides it out. Mayweather then looks comfortable. And this is what I'm saying. The pattern of the rounds was very much McGregor coming in, firing off a few shots and then surviving is what it seemed like and then he'd come out few shots surviving um and he and he managed to get through to round 10 it's amazing that he got that far against one of the greatest of all time um and uh yeah you know there was a little push actually a little shove to mcgregor after uh round five just because, like, I think he was trying to get him away so he could get back to his corner. But I, I'm not sure as to why Mayweather did that. I mean, I'd have to go back and watch it. But it's not a massive talking point. But, yeah, just a little bit of, you know, needle in there after. Both guys very, very, you know, complimentary of each other after uh, the final bell. I mean, uh, McGregor went straight over. You know, he says that just the composure of Floyd throughout that fight was 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 absolutely stunning, top notch. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, you you it looked like Floyd Mayweather was about thirty years old. Like he did not look forty. Um, he didn't look in fantastic shape, but just his conditioning, his experience, his composure, everything that everyone said in the build up came true. Uh, and then we've got like uh, uh, round six, Connor flooded Floyd with body shots. This was a great start and then it fell away. Uh, but yeah, you know, trading blows, a lot of offense, Connor on the defense. Even that I gave 9-10 um, or 10-9, I should say, to uh, Mayweather. Uh, lots of clinches throughout the rest of it. Not much of note in round uh, eight, round nine, big round for Mayweather. And then it wasn't long into the 10th that we get the TKO. Uh, Mayweather says he's done. Uh, McGregor says he doesn't know what the future holds. He's got UFC belts to defend. I'm not sure if he's going to have the appetite to go back into boxing. I think McGregor knows that if he's going to do that, he's going to have to really work hard on his conditioning. I mean, the training camp that McGregor was in, and he was blown out by round four. It's staggering. It is staggering. Like the condition that you must, it's gotta be part of you. Um, so if he's gonna have a proper boxing fight, a boxing match again, I, he's, I just don't even know like how long he's gonna have to train or it's gonna have to be a lifestyle. He'll have to leave UFC 
because I, I don't know if the body can transition between the two. Um, and I think that's what we kind of learn is that it's tough. Make no mistake about it, though. Conor McGregor would kill Floyd Mayweather if Floyd goes into the octagon. Um, but that's just that's just not going to happen. There's no... That's just not going to happen. Um, so I don't know where that leaves us with the Paulie Malinagi fight, but I, I just thought this was fascinating. Even though McGregor was out on his feet for a large portion of this, you still felt that just one, one well-timed punch could get through. Um... But, yeah, it didn't. And uh, I think it was the right result in the end. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I need to try and get some sleep. Desperately. Uh, but thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. I I'll have a read of those when I do wake up. Uh, so, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and hopefully... I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.